Welcome to our Build a Village series, sponsored by Stencil Girl and Judikins. This one's for you, Madison, with this adorable fairy door to hang in your room. And it even lights up, and we have a door that opens, welcoming the fairies. Starting with inexpensive frames, I got mine at the dollar store. You need two four by sixes and one eight by 10. Remove the paper and the glass, be careful. Now that you've taken the frames apart, go ahead and spray paint them. I used a raspberry red. You can use any color spray paint you want. Now take them, place them on a piece of foam board and trace out the frame shapes. You can see I put a little um, cut in to put the fairy light box on the foam board. You can see how nicely the fairy light box fits into that little opening. Now with a craft knife and a ruler, go ahead and cut out your foam board. Remember my old trick, one, two, three, and you'll get a nice clean cut. Now trace two of the uh, four by sixes and one eight by 10 onto the foam board and you're going to cut those out now. Now go ahead and paint the three pieces of foam board, not the one big sheet, the three individual sheets. I used a yellow chalky paint. You can use whatever you would like. Now that you have all three pieces of the foam board painted, you need to let them dry thoroughly. Now place the door stencil over the 8x10 sheet. Using a soft art sponge, go ahead and dab very carefully over the door frame stencil. You see how I'm doing this here? You want to take your time doing this. Now as we're getting towards the end of stenciling, I decided to add a little bit of purple to the star in the center of the door. And you can see as you're dabbing along, you're not using a lot of paint. So it's kind of drying itself as it goes along. Now take the stencil over to the four by six piece of foam board. And now we're going to stencil both windows, one on each piece of the smaller pieces of foam board. I thought my little fairy house should have a little dog at the door. So I'm using this adorable Judikins poodle. And I just used a little bit of acrylic paint and dabbed it onto the back of the stamp and went ahead and stamped the dog onto the front door porch. Now with the craft knife, line up the ruler to the edge of the door. We're going to cut the entire door out. Be very careful while you're doing this process. Now you can see how easy it is to cut the little door out. So I've removed the whole door. Because the little door will get opened and closed, I went ahead and took some of the paint, uh, the yellow paint, and I went ahead and painted all the way around the edge of the door and also the back inside of the door as well. Now put the door frame into the eight by 10 frame. You're just gonna hold it in there, line it up onto the, the big piece of double back foam board that we cut that has the little side wings. Line it up and you're gonna trace out the door. Remove that. Now we're going to take a piece of scrapbook paper and glue that over that edge. So when you open the door, you got this cute, looks like wallpaper inside the little fairy house. Cut another piece of the scrapbook paper and glue it to the back side of the foam board. This will be something for the little light switch to rest on inside the frame. And you just use a little scrap of the paper from the door to do this. Place the door back inside the door frame with mini hinges, hot glue them onto the door side. 
I actually found little hinges from a little trinket box and used those because they were just absolutely the right size. Be careful you don't burn your fingers during this process. It's really fun because the door will actually open and close. Put a little bit of hot glue on the tip of the screws. Press it into the foam board. This will give a little extra security for the hinges. On the door side, use the little latch from the little trinket box as the doorknob to open and close. Here again, hot glue and repeat you putting the screws into the openings. You have to fuss around with this a little bit, but when it's done, it makes it so much cuter. On the back side of the frame, use some tacky glue and run it along the inside edge of the frame. You ask why I didn't use glue, hot glue, because hot glue takes long, it dries so fast at this step that I wanted to have a little bit more time. So I used the tacky glue and just press it in and to let it dry. So at this part, you are gonna just need to set this aside so it dries. Repeat the same thing with the, the uh, four by six pieces for the windows. Using two wooden skewers, you're going to wrap the fairy lights around them. This can be a little bit tricky, not the wrapping the fairy lights onto the skewer, but placing them onto the frame. And you can see how I'm now taking the little the little box or the little light box and sticking it into um, the back of the frame. Remember we left that little cutout for that. Once you've got those kind of in place where you want, then you're going to come in and very carefully hot glue the lights or the, the skewers onto the backing. I do want you to note that I took a little bit of um, the lights, just kind of made them um, to go across the top. I just kind of curved them a little bit, then do a little test to make sure the lights work. Flip over the 8 by 10 frame with the door. And I just attached a little bit of tape just to secure it down even a little bit more. Take your little light switch and you need to um, attach it to the back. Remember where we did that little cutout and put the little paper? And then I just folded up the extra wire. And you can see I just taped it, scotch taped it right in place so it wouldn't come out. And you don't think this would work, but it actually works really well. Aha, now that's in place. We're going to go ahead. Using your tacky glue, put glue all over the back of the 8x10 frame, foam board, the edge of the frame. Please do not put any glue on the door because we'll have a real problem that won't open. There we go. We're just going to line that up very carefully on the back of the other piece of foam board. With the tacky glue, we're going to go ahead and be very generous, put the glue all onto the foam board, put a little bit of glue on the inside of the frame, and repeat on the other side, attach them all together. And you want to make sure you leave time for the tacky glue to dry. On a little piece of scrapbook paper, I hand wrote, Welcome Fairies, and attached that on the inside of the door. I just use glue stick to make that happen. Ah, now look how cute this is. You open the little door. There's your little welcome fairies. Turn on the lights. This is going to be so adorable hanging in Madison's room. Maddie is going to be so happy to have these little fairies come visit her at night. We hope you're enjoying our special Build a Village series. Please follow us on social media and sign up on our website and you could be a winner of a prize box full of some of our favorite sponsors products. And as we always say, when creativity knocks, open the door.